and all you have to do is focus inward and become the version of you who already feels like they have that desire. That version of you is just waiting for you to step into them. Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Hilary Jubilee. Today we're gonna talk about persistence and not giving up. I want you to come back to this video whenever you feel like giving up because I have come to believe that giving up is literally the one thing that you should not do. It's the golden rule. It's the just the one rule to live by with manifesting with the law of assumption or law of attraction, manifesting anything you want. If you have a desire, it's a gift from God and you should never give up on that. That is your true desire, so you are meant to have it. And giving up is the one thing that just is not productive. You know, you are meant to experience this desire. It already exists in a reality somewhere. You may not be able to perceive it with your 3D senses right here and now, but it does exist right here and now because time does not exist. Your desire is a reality in a alternate reality that you currently cannot perceive, but it does exist, I promise you. And if you persist in the end of already having your desire, you will experience your desire. Persistence is the one thing that guarantees you will get your desire. If you persist in the end goal, if you persist in the version of you who already has that desire, you will experience that desire. Believe that you will is receive it. Believe in that reality. Make a choice to believe, to select that reality and to believe that it's possible for you. Can you reach for some small belief, just a tiny mustard seed bit of faith that that reality already exists for you? There's a version of you out there and it's not woo woo, it's not crazy talk. That is a true reality that exists. Can you feel into that truth for yourself that that reality already exists for you? If it's an SP that you desire, there's a version of you and a version of your SP that are together. There's a version of your SP that wants to be with you and all you have to do is focus inward and become the version of you who already feels like they have that desire. That version of your SP exists. That version of you who's in a happy, healthy relationship exists that version of you is just waiting for you to step into them step into that version of you and have the will and the persistence to keep stepping into that to keep affirming to keep visualizing to keep holding faith no matter what your circumstances are showing you because your 3d reality if you don't see anything any evidence if you don't hear any evidence, if you don't taste any evidence, if you don't smell any evidence, your 3D senses are one limited perspective. Obviously the end goal is to experience your desire in the 3D reality. That's where we usually hang out in and that's our, our experience, right? We wanna experience it in the 3D. But if you don't see any evidence in your 3D, that does not mean that it does not exist. For example, the common, the common um, exercise that you can do, which let's just do it right now. Imagine a juicy, you know, a juicy yellow lemon. Smell the lemon, bring it up to your nose and smell it. You can smell the citrus on the skin. It's really plump, it's really, it's really ripe. And imagine yourself taking a bite into the lemon, into the skin, into the flesh and just like pull it off the lemon. And even me doing this, even saying it, I'm my, I can feel it like a little bit puckering inside my mouth. Like there's, I'm salivating a bit. I can taste like, you know, my body's responding to an imaginal act. I'm imagining that I have a lemon and I'm biting into it, right? And that's what you're doing, right? So you might start to salivate, you might start to pucker up. You can kind of, your body's responding to a sour citrusy lemon in your mouth. <laughs> so, you know, just because we didn't see evidence of the lemon right now in our 3D, we had it in our imagination, we sensed it in our imagination, 
and it exists somewhere, as Neville would say, you can distinguish the difference in your imagination between a tennis ball, a baseball, a football, a soccer ball, a te- I already said tennis ball, uh, a ping pong ball, uh, a golf ball. You know, as I'm saying these different types of balls, you can imagine these different shapes. They have different grooves on them. You can, um, you can see that in your mind, you know, the difference between them. And he, Neville says, you know, where are they? They must exist somewhere, you know, just because you cannot, you are not experiencing that with your 3D senses. Your imagination is bringing up that image and you can, you know, imagine the texture of those different objects. And it's just a good example of just because you cannot see it in your 3D reality does not mean it does not exist. Imagination is actually the only reality and it's where all things start from. It's where all things began. There wasn't one thing in this world that was not first born in imagination. Your human imagination is God. And so when you can really understand that fundamental truth, you would never give up on your desires because if you can see it in your mind, you will hold it in your hand. Just do not give up on remembering that your imagination creates reality, there is no other reality. There is no other cause. If there are 3D circumstances that you don't like, it's a reflection of your own state of being and it's an opportunity to change your state of being. It's an opportunity to shift. You know, instead of reacting constantly to your 3D, let's persist in the end we want. Let's use it to propel us forward and let's never ever give up. Golden rule, never give up. Persist in your end, no matter what you see, no matter how long it takes, have that drive and that persistence and that wherewithal to persist in the unseen and have faith in the unseen. It takes a lot of courage to persist in your end desire when, whenever you see the opposite or whenever you are not seeing any movement. There's always movement behind the scenes. People can have, you know, intuitive hits. Other people will have intuitive hits to, to orchestrate things. You know, things are always moving around in the background. Regardless of what your desire is, there is always movement. If you are truly stepping into that version of yourself that already has that thing that you want and really giving yourself those feelings and feeling whole because if you feel lack, you're not embodying the end version of yourself who already has it. You're not living in the end if you feel lack or if you feel like you need that thing to complete you, right? So keep stepping in the end version of you, keep persisting in that and practicing that. In the beginning, it might seem difficult to do that if you're not seeing evidence and you're not used to this. It's like, oh, we just want instant results. Well, you know, we have to kind of let that go and let our ego go. Like if you have a goal and you want to manifest it by a certain time, you know, we have to just, sure, you can you can affirm for that certain time and you can intend for that time. But if that time comes and goes, then we're not giving up. If it shows up three months after that t- that time, are you going to complain? No. So the quicker, you know, if you want it to come quicker, then live in the end more and cut off those opposing thoughts more and step into a better version of yourself, one that feels whole and loved. You know, keep stepping into that and keep practicing that because the results may be slow if you're going back and forth in your mind, you know, if you're like argu- doing arguments in your mind or you're, you know, not catching your negative self-talk or whatever it is, it might take a bit longer, but at least you're making progress if you keep persisting in the end. If you just give up and you want to keep on, you know, thinking your negative thought patterns, well, here's some tough love for you. If you keep thinking, you know, your negative thought patterns and I'm not good enough, I'll never do this, I'm bad at manifesting, I'll never get what I want, you know, that train of thought is not productive to what you're trying to do. That's, if you're giving up on your end, then how is that productive? Like, let's persist. Like, what? why don't we see what happens if we persist? And why don't we see what happens if we hold the faith? So I just wanted to make this video. If you ever feel like giving up, come back to this video. We don't give up around here, we persist and we have faith in our desires. And you know, if you persist, you will experience your desires. So thank you for watching. Hit the like button for me. Leave me a comment down below. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.